Hi, in this video, we are making this mailbox favor box. The download link is in the description below. I have made the design very easy to use and make. I'm pretty happy with the result. After downloading, upload the file to design space. Here are all the elements. Here are two side panels. This is the front of the mailbox. These two pieces are for the aperture window here. This piece is for the back of the mailbox. The last two pieces are for the pull-out compartment here. All the folding lines are attached and will be cut as dotted lines. Have a look of this line here. This line is actually a glue mark line. We are not going to fold this one here. All we need to do is click make it and send to cut. Three pages of cutting layout here. I like to keep small pieces in a container so they wouldn't mix up with the scraps. Here are all the cutouts, two side panels, the front, these two are for the pullout here, this piece is for the aperture, the last piece is for the back. Here are all the small elements. The first thing we put together is a word post. Find all the letters and match them. Now the word post is done. Arrange them on the front piece. I try to keep them between the two lines here. Once you are happy, glue them together. I prefer to glue P and T first together but they can be glued in order too. Next, put the rectangle outline on top of the aperture window. I use foam tapes here just to make it pop a bit. Having the front of the piece facing you fold the lines upward, the top line here will fold it toward the back. The window is the front. We will hide the glue tabs behind like this. Apply glue and hide the tabs behind. Align well and press till glue is dry. Now the glue is dry, put it aside. Grab a side panel piece. Here are all the folding lines. Just fold along the lines. Apply glue here and stick the two ends together. It should look like this. Repeat the other side panel. Now we will put together the sides and the front together. Fold the rectangle here backward. Fold this line here upward. Use a thick pen to curl from this point to the back. Take time here. Be careful not to bend or fold the car. We will glue the side and the front like this. Look at the side panel top. It is open at the top. Keep the open end facing inward, not facing outward like this. Apply glue and attach them together. Align the bottom and the straight lines first, then close the curvy top slowly. Press the top together as tight as possible. Stand the mailbox up and smooth the top. Check if they align properly. Repeat the other side. The open end is facing inside. Glue together. It should look like this now. Forget to show you earlier, the dotted lines here is the glue mark we mentioned earlier. We don't need to fold this one. Next is to install the aperture. Get the aperture in from the back. Push this tab here down a bit. The aperture goes in like this. Apply glue both sides, top and bottom. Press the glue parts together gently. Use fingers to push from inside as well to secure the glue. These two pieces are for the pull-out compartment. 
Grab the rectangle and fold the lines upward. Turn the piece over and fold all the lines upward. Hold the right angle end on the top. Make it like this. Apply glue and stick together. The back is slightly longer. The tab should be folding toward to the front like this. Grab the mailbox. We are going to insert the compartment we just made from the back. The semicircle side goes in first. Pull it through from the front. Matching the two semicircles and glue together. Turn the mailbox over. Fold the tab inward. We will use the last piece to seal it. Apply glue along here. Don't put glue on this tab. Align the edges. Tucking any bits that stick out. The top should overlay and align the glue mark line. We have made the mailbox. Now it's time to post some love letters. Thank you for watching.